Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my techless playthrough where, well, everything is going okay for now, though obviously we are at War of the Dwarves because the Garage Too Far event has started again, so I suspect, yeah, we have some nasty stuff coming down, so actually, ooh, I might want to actually pull back. Yeah, so we're actually going to pull back for the time being in there. While we're getting ready to build up. Obviously, we have had a patch since we last played, so some things have changed. Like that, for example. Ooh, I can get rid of some of my growth buildings now. That'll be useful, because we're already at max growth here. I just need the money to actually build it up. Um, White Tower. Warden of Safari. Teclas is holding the line back here. Um... While well, we wait and see exactly what ends up happening, which could be, again, fun. I want to save my money for my other side. I don't want to move Teclas just yet, so we'll see how it goes. Can I offer assistance? Um, basically, we, we did have plans, but the dwarves have put a scupper to our plans at the moment, though Scarbrand's probably no longer a threat for everybody. I mean, I will. Hexlottle's nowhere near where I need to deal with, so I can cope with that, but still. I am getting a grudge too far in every campaign I do at the moment. It's really annoying. I, it's a cool event, but I'm seeing it too much. Hmm. I mean, thankfully, I'm isolated from most of the Dowie, unlike my Dowie campaign when I was literally in the middle of them. Um, but it is going to be problematic, so we're going to have to see how all this goes. Oh my god, Oxlotl, finish it. Finish them up, once and for all. I may be dead, guys. I serve the king. Limitless talent. I will study here. No, I will not. If they charge into my territory, I'm pretty done. My infinite knowledge is yours. Moving right, on. let's push out and see what happens. See what they've got here. My powers are yours. Laying in wait. Um, I know the way. You know what? I'm happy to sit there at Amber Stance. Preparing. I want you to hold there, Zoltar. Hmm. You're here I will grow. I'm not looking forward to this, guys. I unfortunately, unlike my Dowie campaign where I'm much more powerful, especially with Teclas over the other side of the sea, I actually think I may be stuffed here, guys. Um, I'm kind of concerned because, yeah. I will leave the Asur. It all depends which way they go, but even if they only graze me, it's going to cause huge damage to me. Now, my primary region, I can build really solid forces now, but... Well, we'll see what happens, because this could be bad. Mm. 
Magic's unleashed. False one. Sorry, I, I know I started building them, but then I realized why that was stupid, because I need all the money for these guys. Student of Teclis. Extra recruitment capacity. Do I have any buildings which increase recruitment capacity? I mean, they are really solid, so it's not too much of an issue, but still. True magic. I'm not a fan of recruitment capacity and things being tied to stuff like that. Why, hello, Mr. Monstrous Infantry. I'm going to hold there for the time being. Okay. So we are building up um, sisters in that army, which will make it much more powerful because they are armor-piercing magic monsters. I mean, they're not monsters, but they are solid. So getting a couple, if I can have time to get some stacks of them out, they will really, really help as time goes on to actually deal with things. I may, I may just disband Teclas, or I may just go attempt to go on a rampage over there, rip territory apart, raid for money, and, you know, basically turn Teclas into a monster, into a raider over there to rip through things. I think the Thousand Moors are having to deal with the invasion with the, the attacks from the north. Unfortunately, Mazamundi is not helping there at all. And of course, the dwarves are all evil. All gone evil. Here they come! I am in serious trouble, actually. I, I don't have anything on the far side of the mountains. There's not really much I can do to stop that force. It's just too... It's too smaking powerful. That is the problem just now. Honestly think I'm in trouble. Not just a small amount of trouble, a lot of trouble. Oh my god. Do not test my patience. Yes, I will trade with you. I found some friendly dwarves, guys. Mage. Lord of the Phoenix Court, your will is done. Setting camp. Going forth. Right. Okay, I'm not doing anything now, but we will do a bit of maneuvering with the army soon. Lawmaster of Hoeth. Ah, they did take it. Spoken. They must have snuck there in front of me when I was in double time. Techless. High Lawmaster. Master of the White Tower.
Let's grab stand your ground and sorry, I need Teclas home. And it's not necessarily the quickest way, but we need High him home. Archmage. Um, so that'll get him recruitable in a few turns, and then we can get him into one of the armies over here. Safari's servant. In five turns. Eh, probably not worth it, but we can but hope. Build the walls! Oh god, we're so screwed. We're so screwed. Hey, Scarbrand! Turn around, fight the dwarves. You know you want to. You know you want to, right? Right? Oh god. Seriously amazed how Oxlottle has not managed to finish off the last few little territories down here yet. It's going to be an interesting campaign as Oxlottle. Um, I mean, there's other things to do as campaign, but basically you're going to spend most of your time down there ripping it apart. And it's a much... I think I might give that a go at some point soon, because it just looks interesting at the moment. Ah, what a surprise. I did think that might happen, but if I free up the income by losing that army... So be it. It's got a lot of regiments around in it, which are always expensive, so. I was 50-50 on just abandoning that army utterly, because then it also frees up regiments around in a few turns to be used back home, if needs be. Where I suspect shit is about to go down. I don't actually give a shit about Angrant. Oh god! Yeah, I'm gonna... Just territory there is just gonna get ripped apart. I don't really have the capability to pressure them just yet. Soon. Soon we will, actually. Sylvan Guard aren't bad. Especially with a, with a load of bows behind them. With magic bow ladies behind them. Nope. I have no desire to be friends with a screaming tree. Right, I want to start building the defences up naturally here. I'm abandoning here again. Basically, it freed up a lot of income to build with over here. I bring Azurian's fire. Oh, I'll be it. Max, that's why. can also get some dragons in, actually. While a moon dragon is better, these will be useful for, dragons will be useful de for dealing with artillery, so, yeah. Trained by the White Tower. Let's get that, the extra recruitment capacity. I will do my duty to war. No, we don't Retreat. get the reinforcements right. Ever loyal. Preparing camp. Well, I think we're in serious trouble. 
Yeah, I, I don't give a crap. Basically, guys, we need to see what happens here. If I lose that settlement, I think I'm done. Gonna be honest, I don't see how I can come back. Um, if I hold it... <sighs> God damn, I hate the dwarves. <laughs> I don't, I love the dwarves, don't put me in the book. No, 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 I, I, I love playing dwarves, but this is an... The thing which is nasty about this is they're so spread out, and it's actually... I wasn't ready for it, basically, at all. I'd done other things. I hadn't even considered it. I, Which is how you kind of want it to happen. That's why it's an endgame crisis. And if it's it, not an endgame crisis or whatever they call it, endgame crisis is the Stellaris thing. But that's why it's so good, because it, it puts you in that situation where actually you are. And this one's probably the one which is going to affect the most regions. Whereas some of the old ones, you know, chaos, if you're in certain bits of the world, you just didn't care about because it never got to you. The question is, which army do I attack with first? A reckoning. Your behest. Oh. You need me. I will see to it. Oh God! Oh God! This is going to be brutal, guys. Uh, my best bet is to set up behind this hill, hoping they don't set up here to counter me, because those organ guns are deadly. They are probably the most dangerous thing on the field, though everything on this field is dangerous. Um... Yeah. Ever loyal. Following orders. I need my reinforcements in to really do much here. This guy, he's going to go over here. He is basically and him. They're going to go hide over here. Their entire job is going to be to chase down their artillery and try and deal with them. As will my ranged when we get at him. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so we have a lot of elves here. Now, technically, I am attacking.
<laughs> if they want to play this, I'm actually going to use this ridge line to my advantage to, to stop their ranged massively. Giant unwieldy army maneuver! Carried by the winds. Cause if I can use this ridge line to get my archers arcing into them, that's really beneficial. And them shooting through woods will benefit me more than that. Because I've got much more in the way of archers. The downside is I don't have much in the way of yes. Armor piercing archers, but still. Yeah, these guys are useless. I don't know why I ever bothered recruiting them. Magic is mine. Pump all the magic through. So I can go Nova on them when we start. Advance! The winds flow through me! Maneuver! Me. Nice deep formation with a hell of a lot of range behind and... Yeah. I mean, they're probably maneuvering like hell behind there, but... We need to win this battle. For the king! Spearmen! Advance! So many elves! Prince of Elf One, march! Any other time. I mean, this would just be ridiculous. This is ridiculous, but. Orders received. Orders received. The enemy used the forests to conceal their movements, my lord. Approach with caution. And eager. Here it goes! For all one! For the Ever Queen! Asur Archmage! What orders? Moving out! Assyrian guide! back! One. Damn. Move. We basically have the ridge line between us and them, but there's a lot of forest stopping my archers. These guys are zerging up to the other end to go around and get behind when we do eventually push. Here they come! Magic's unleashed! Unfortunately, dwarves have quite a nice magic resistance, so... Acknowledged! Right. Oh, that's new. Oh, 
not necessarily useful, but you can select all of the same unit by control double clicking them. Because basically sometime soon I need to just charge and get my archers involved. Ever vigilant. Move. Spearmen. Which is going to be when they're right around. I then will move my ranged forwards as well. Without fail. It's time. Because yes. otherwise their iron breakers are going to engage me. For duty. Move. Um, oh, I hate fighting in forests. At your command. Get your asses over full speed. You can also charge in, please. Mage. Destiny sends me. Behold my power. You focus that unit. You focus Seal. that unit. Serve the king. Focusing them a bit Got will help a lot. So. so into the rear, take out their ranged, their fast movers. Into their organ guns. We want to close them down as quickly as possible. To be fair, I'm probably best just buffing my units here more than anything. Charging back in on this flank. Good. God, this is not going well, guys. I mean, it's just a massive slugfest in the woods, guys. Wow, the elves fight the dwarves. And it really actually gets rid of my ranged advantage massively. I mean, the real issue is that my ranged aren't even getting to fire much. We will obey. We will obey. I am tempted to pull out of the woods. I'm going to try and pull out of the woods. This this is a very risky move, but I think I need to try. We away for duty. We will obey. Asua, move. Fall back. Orders received. 
This is a very Swiftly. foolish move, which is probably going to hurt me massively. But if I can disengage and pull the, the dwarves out, we have a massive advantage. That gives us the advantage. We are going to lose troops doing this, but this will hopefully help. Master of sorcery. To some extent. My journey continues. Behold my power! Where I predicted. Magics Okay, keep reached. running, keep running. See now we are actually getting to hit them properly as they fall as they pull Ready. out. As you say, a Surian guides us, awaiting orders. Following Ethua, Asur Archmage, Asur Prince. These guys are going to sit back here. Basically, these guys' job is going to be to try and get in and deal with anything which manages to escape us. Run, Steggy! Try and open up that a bit. Yes. Right, start hitting those iron breakers. Understood. As you say. Asura, advance! Archers! We will obey! Just, just to reform Quickly it slightly. Now. Mage ready! With Dropping some fire in there. For Lothen. Right, I want you guys focusing them. Archers. You guys can focus them. Without fail. Acknowledged. Nope, Orders focus understood. that unit of iron breakers down now, please. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Iron breakers are the things which need to die the fastest here. That's right, get these Sylvan Guard out, they can retreat into the center here. Son of It's Orders. Very well. A little concerned about this flank. Where's my mage? Get out of the front line, you idiot! Observe my radiance. We advance. You can hold them there while I drop that on them. Oh yeah, new units in for you to replace the units which ran away. I actually want you guys up this flank, please. Ready. For order. Ooh, I've broken them. To battle. Run down the iron breakers. Fall back. Basically, the Slayers are the only thing left, and that's because they are unbreakable. So, yeah. Where have their slayers gone? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, we won. Oh my god. That was, um, interesting. That's for sure. Whew. Holy shit. The fight in the woods was a mistake. However, 
I say it was a mistake. We dealt with this. And this is what I was worried about. And while they got a lot of kills, we held the line. The, the elves held. That fight in the wood actually did its job. We managed to fall back from that fight in the woods as well. So it might not have been going about as bad as I thought. And when they tried to come at us, we actually did a hell of a lot of damage to them there. So... It sounds weird. I think they had a hell of a lot of friendly fire as well because the mage got a lot of kills. But actually, my kills don't add up. Take them, Captain. High Elven Archmage. No. Master of High. Chase them down. The might of suffering. And fall back. And that, guys, is after that victory, because we're going to have lots of defeats over here, is where we're going to leave it for now. And that gives me time. Weird. Gives me time to keep building, which is what we needed. Um... You know, gives me the time to keep things going. In fact, I'm going to get a second dragon in here. So, keep building, to keep recovering, to keep recuperating. Uh, what we Magic really need now school. is to get to the top level of my buildings here. So, I can have one solid dwarf killing army to defend my lands and push back. But that'll be something we'll work on next time. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you are enjoying this. If you are, please do like and subscribe. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. Monsterbound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Ert, and Jared Horn. And thank you to everyone for watching. Cheers, guys.